We may not know which way to go on this dark road. Mr. Lambert, all of these holes <laughs> make it difficult. Yo, welcome to Beers and Bars. Your place for rapid fire hip hop discussion and of course, great beer. I am Kamal Kiddo. OT the Golden Child. Thank y'all for checking out our last episode. If this is your first time listening, uh, thank you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe wherever you're checking us out at, whether it be on any of the podcast platforms or whether you're watching us on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Being rap show, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the culture of hip hop and other things uh, yeah. over a great craft beer come on kiddo what's been going on with you man how you been feeling man i've been feeling real positive man but really it's not about me man it's all about Ooh. you bro happy birthday bro happy birthday yo happy birthday to ot the golden child also, yeah man also not only uh was it is it your birthday this week um but uh you have some news for us don't you man didn't you uh did you pass a test you about to take a test yeah so uh shout out to mickey and the whole you know everyone at black and brew brew chicago yeah man i got a great opportunity that just came from a conversation at a bar yeah. i had told mickey that i was thinking about getting my sister on and she was like yo okay she's like hold on she's like, now, what, is that? what is that i'm gonna give you all the official definition from uh cicerone.org uh where Cicerone designate hospitality professionals with proven experience in selecting, acquiring, and serving today's wide range of beers. To claim the title of Cicerone, uh, one must earn the trademark title of certified Cicerone or hold higher certification. So it's different levels. I think it ended mm. at Master Cicerone. Obviously, I'll be at the beginner level. But um, shout out Black and Root Chicago, man. I, I won the, uh, well, I was awarded uh, their 2022 uh black pride uh beer scholarship uh to be able wow. to pursue yeah man um uh my cicerone so man you know congrats man do you plan on doing something with that do you have plans already you know what man honestly i i have i have been thinking about doing it and trying to see about getting into the you know into that lane but i didn't really have any particular reason that's why i wanted to do it i, I really just yeah. wanted to expand my knowledge within craft beer and I knew that, you know, going through like a Cicerone type program could, you know, lead you down that path. I really don't have a plan right now, but man, shout out conversations that just happen and then things um, come from them, man. So um, I wouldn't fruit right now, man. man. Har harvesting right now. I do. I, I'm, it's still like, what? Okay. So yeah, now I got to actually study, take the course, and then pass that boy, so I can be legit in this in this joint. So, hey yeah. man, you know you 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 drink craft beer, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> we'll That's see. what's up, man. Um, but yeah, man. Once again, man. Happy birthday. Um, what are you drinking? What are you? you no. Know, yeah, man. Um, man, I've been around the world, man. I've been I've been everywhere, man. I um. Big shout out to John, everybody at Revolution, man. We had some oh, yeah. beer chilling for a minute, man. You know, they had their re re uh, uh, installment recently of, of Deepwood come out in, like, July. And, uh, you know, me and you both busy, man. I, I, yeah. You live where you live. I live an hour from Rev, basically. Um, I'm so damn I, near an hour myself. <laughs> yeah. So I um, I was out north kicking with some bros for the birthday. I went to Old Irving. And I'm like, since I'm going to be at Old mm -hmm. Irving, I might as well go ahead, you know, since I'm be out that way. So today I'm drinking Thundertaker, man. And I guess it's the day after my birthday. So this is, I'm on point to go ahead and go to the moon because this is an Imperial Rye Stout aged in bourbon barrels. And this bad boy is coming in at 16.2%, folks. Ooh. So uh, a storm of chocolatey malt uh, and spice notes is what they have on the can here as far as some tasting notes. So. I'm going to the moon, man. Yeah. Word up, man. Um, shout out Sam Ross, uh, brother at the bar. He gave me this joint the last time I saw him. Uh, so I'm going to have this joint now on the show. Uh, this is uh, Goose Island um, Hazy Beer Hug. Hazy Beer Hug from Goose Island. Um, this is a bright and sunshiny haze. This is 
percent ABV. Um, yeah, I've had this chilling since at least for what a month now. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, man, probably classic hazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go ahead and have this joint, man. Tall boy. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot to talk about today, so you know we gonna be we go we gonna we gonna get into it, man. Over some cool brews, man. Now you, on the other hand, by the end of this joint, you might be a little. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest with you. you uh, your ABV is like ten percent more than mine right now. Gee, my, I'm gonna be honest with you. It may even get crazier. I may have another one after this. Um, my birthday was yesterday. Uh, I'm the best man in a wedding uh, tomorrow. Shout out my boy Norm. Shout out Norm, man. Hey man, look, dog. It's it might get a you know. Let me let me do a couple of first of all, a couple shout outs here. Shout out everyone that went to Barrel and Flow Fest over the weekend. I'm super hating on everybody because obviously I got a lot going on in life right now. I wasn't able to make that joint birthday weekend. Prepping for you know um, things happening this week and all that um shout out everybody that went i saw sam was out there i saw black and brew was out there mickey was out there uh funky town was out there oh yeah there's uh, a few people out there yeah. crown and hops is out there shout out to uh bruising banner podcast shout i, I don't want to keep naming people because i'm gonna miss somebody but if you was out there big shout out to you yeah. um we got to get out there next year man oh it's it's definitely next year i can't we can't we can't we can't yeah. miss it next year For that's sure. definitely sure. going to happen um uh Funky Town is dropping a beer with Black Horizon. That's going to be coming out, I think, this week. Word. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Old Irving, whole staff over there. They be having a burger of the week. I had a French onion burger that was phenomenal. What's my man's name up there? That's the chef. Uh, I don't know the chef. I know Trevor's the head brewer. Trevor. He used to be a chef. Well, the chef, yeah, the guy that uh, the I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think yeah. Trevor D does think have a Trevor, chef. You, yeah, Trevor used to be a chef, yeah, and I know he might have uh, had a lot to do with the with the menu. I know he may not be the chef over there, but yeah. he used to be a chef. Well, let me say this too, because the chef was the one that was had the playlist going, and my man's was banging MF Doom, woo wee, and that joint, like, yo, what is happening on a random Saturday in Chicago out north? Wow. In in the old Irving area, man. But I don't want to belabor here because we'll be talking all day. Let's tell the people what we're talking about today. What's popping? Man, we uh it's a few finally, finally, it's some uh albums that dropped uh after a long drought of not a lot really dropping. We had Joey Badass a few weeks ago. Uh, but anyway, um today we're talking about uh, Megan the Stallion's new album, Trauma Zine. Trauma Zine. Uh, we'll be talking about uh Danger Mouse and Black Thought cheat codes. Your boy, your boy. Uh, and we'll be talking about the game, his latest uh double two-hour album. Triple. It's a triple album. Drillmatic Heart versus Mind. Yeah. Drillmatic Heart versus Mind. Um, I guess we'll get into that when we get there. Uh, you know, no, we might as well go right there first since that was let's go right with the game, man. I wow. want to go right to the game. Okay, all right. All I right. think it's fun. Let's have a fun it's show. So much to, I, I got a lot to say about bro, and yet I don't. Okay, but it's so me like all right, all right, let's get into it. Let's get that, into it. Dramatic heart versus mind. First off, I don't know what that means. Uh, there is a song on the album called Heart vs. Mind. Yeah. Um, and it's only number 10. It's not even like in the middle of the album. First of all, you know, I look, you know, you go um, to Apple, the new music joint on a Friday. I go to it, look at track list. I instantly look at how long the joint is. I'm, I'm instantly looking at the track list, who's on it maybe, and um, how long it is. This man gave us a two-hour album. Two hours? Yes. Okay. So then I'm looking like, all right, well, there's obviously definitely um, a lot of filler. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is definitely filler. 
Um, you know, I thought that having Ice T on the opening joint was cool. Good song. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, easy kind of pales in comparison now. Like it, it feels like I like the song, but it, it don't hit as hard to me anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a cool song. I think Kanye's verse is still the verse to hear on this. Like it almost feels like a Kanye song. Um, speaking of Kanye, I think he name drops Kanye almost 10 times. 32 on, times. On songs that Kanye is not on. Kanye is only on two songs. You know what I'm saying? But he name drop him a bunch of times, which I thought, okay, that's, I thought it was weird, but then it's like, well, this is what game does. This is game name drops. He name drops. Yeah. Um, the five year foreign uh sound you can hear that in like at least two songs uh he did a lot of um remixing of a couple songs like the memphis bleak joint um he redid uh missy joint ruby's rose with twister he he redid the missy joint um he redid a couple joints he redid uh, show enough which is a uh, a ball and mjg oh yes he redid <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he redid that joint. Um, he has a lot of features. It's funny that he has an interlude with Drake, but no song from Drake. <laughs> interlude was fire, though. It's so funny because it's like Drake explaining why he can't give him a verse. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's so, that's so funny to me. Um, you know, I still rap sometimes, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> He got his OT vibe. Go ahead. Um, he's got a diss on here called the Black Slim Shady, and he's and and it's seven minutes. Mm. It's seven minutes. It's a very theatrical song, um, where he's uh, you know, taking on you know he he's like kicking it with Stan's brother, and uh, very uh, very creative. It's it's creative. He's taking on um, uh, the cadence of Eminem, um, which let me point out, Game does that in a couple of songs on the album, take on a cadence of another artist. Yeah. Um, which I thought to his credit, okay, you're doing your thing, Game, in that respect. Um, but I'm not sure why he's dissing Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Because Because people say he's the god of rap or god mc uh he's playing the race card a lot in the song you know what i'm saying i'm not sure why he's dissing him i'm i'm very confused as to why he's coming at eminem um he name drops a bunch of people on why um you know like he name drops dr dre a few times in the album and on mm -hmm. that song, but on the album, uh, saying that, you know, one, one thing that stood out as far as the Dr. Dre name drop, he mentions uh, that he, that Doctor's Advocate wasn't executive produced by Dre. He just wanted him to do it or something like that. I don't understand some of his motives sometimes, like. You know, and his interviews aren't very telling of what his mind state is when he's doing music. I really am befuddled by why he put out such a long album full of, in my opinion, a lot of fillers. Like the Big Sean song, Stupid, it's a filler. Uh, Fortunate, oh my God, with Kanye and Dreezy, I, th I think, and Chiller, who's... I think it's a te that's a terrible song. Let me say this. You know what's so funny? How it's so crazy the intent of putting uh, Big Sean, who was a, De a Detroit rapper, after a song when you dissing Eminem. That was intentional. Go ahead. You continue. <laughs> I, I thought about that also. You know what I'm saying? But it's like just all around, you know what I'm saying? What What is Drillmatic? You know what I'm saying? Um, I know he, he may be... You know, going off a of drill and illmatic. Um, you know, he probably should have just called it 
dramatic. But heart versus mind, I'm not sure where, you know, the point of this. Heart versus mind, I actually like that song, though. I do like that song. Um, there are some songs I like, but overall, I'm just really confused by why he has such a lot. Like, it's hard to grasp. Like, I've only heard the album once all the way through. And I probably won't really be returning to it. Um, I do like the game. I think he's a good rapper. I Very think good he rapper. can rap. Yes. Uh, I like that he's able to, you know, it's refreshing to hear an artist be able to switch up flows like he can do. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of West Coast artists that do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really be feeling like he's a, he feels like he's a stepchild of rap or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not giving his credit, but at the same time, you be treating everybody. You be coming at people. You know what I'm saying? It's very, it's very odd, man. I, I mean, you talk about 50 and G unit and all of that. Um, he has a line on there talking about how he could have been part of the rock. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have dis hove. I was tripping. I was young. Um, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what game. Let me, let me, let me see. Yeah, let me, let me stop you there. Let me, let me do this. Here. Uh, so I think that this album is very shout out to the alcohol because I was going to keep it very liberal on, on talking, uh, about, you know, We've grown to, you know, give our opinions and whatnot and not be as, you know, oh, something is just not for me and all that. But no, right. let, me, let me be very honest. I think that the game at this album is very um, indicative of just who game is as an artist at this point and has always been. His career has been a crazy ride. Right, You come in, you got this push of 50 and G unit. And all that behind you, you have the falling out with G Unit and 50, your second album, you're off of Dr. Dre's label. Like Game's career has always been mm -hmm. kind of everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And he himself, I, I don't want to diagnose somebody, but Game has always been a little, you know, everywhere with it. And this album is everywhere, you know. Um, it, it has everywhere. I don't, I don't know. This is not a diss. I'm just giving my honest opinion on the album. Drillmatic heart versus mind sets you up as if it's going to be some type of thematic album, right? But it's not. I don't know what Drillmatic. You know, maybe he has explained it in an interview. Maybe it's somewhere, and I just haven't done my due diligence. I don't know. I don't know what Drillmatic stands for, or what it. I know there's a drill music, and I know there's Illmatic. But I don't know the combination of the two from listening to this album. Heart versus mind. Maybe it's an album where there's songs that are from the heart. And whatnot, then you have the, the conflict of a heart and the mind, you know, the battle of the mental and the spiritual, whatever. That's not really present. So it's not. Um, like, yeah, hold I on, you, just I told you, shout out to the alcohol. I'm being very, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just well, I don't want to interrupt. But the thing about yeah. the thing about, um, you know, we have been on this is not for me, this is different, and for me, because I'm a fan of the game. So I check for the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I checked for at least his first two albums. I've checked for, I haven't heard a couple like the, I haven't heard LAX. I haven't heard his last album before this. Um, but his first two albums, I definitely checked for. Like I was checking for the game. Um, and so I wouldn't say I'm, as a fan, I can, I feel like, I have the right as a fan to rate this, whether it's good or not. And in my opinion, I don't think it's good mainly because it's so long and it's a bunch of songs on here. That's like, eh, I could skip this. You know what I'm saying? It's two hours long game. I check for, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like one of your favorite artists, drop something that you may not like that don't mean that you're not going to check for them again you know what i'm saying i haven't been on the game for real for real but i haven't heard much from the game i'm gonna check for them you know what i'm saying the game is for me as far as a as a fan i'm a fan of his music yeah. yeah but 
This one, not it. Mm. Let me say this. I'm let me keep going too. Uh so also the, the long album thing, it seems to be something that he just does at this point because I did check uh Born mm. to Rap, which came out in 2019. Mm. That joint was an hour and 30 minutes. So yeah. I don't know what goes behind or why put out these super long albums. I guess you just give the people the music, but yeah. And what I was saying, I I don't want to diss the game because I think he's a super talented rapper. Mm-hmm. I just don't I don't know what the title means from listening to the album. I just wanted to make that very clear that there's this title and I don't get what's happening. However, it's some songs, man. Um I do like one time, I do like easy, I do like home invasion. A home that, invasion. That man he was kind of rapper. rapping. He was trying to rap. He was trying to yeah, that yeah, man yeah. is a rapper. Uh, Hard yeah, versus yeah. mine. No smoke at the polo lounge. Very good song. Very good song. Uh, no man falls. Hey, hey, two chains. You're a rapper. I, <laughs> I ooh, I'm happy you said that because I <laughs> almost played myself. Two chains got off. Two chains. Two chains. That verse is like who else had like the ending long verse? All I can remember is like Capadonna on uh. Yeah. On a ghost face joint. You know what I'm saying? He had like the end long verse. Mm-hmm. And Chains came in and wrapped that boy up. Chains is good, man. Chains is good, man. Um, I like Money Cash Clothes, even though to your point, again, that's a, that's like Another. a song. He's taking yeah. shots. You know, I'm the real middle child. Eee. That's it. That's a, you know, uh, something about my, my morale, something. Kendrick, like. There's a couple, you know, digs there, but I mean, all in all in spirit, probably not, not nothing where he's really trying to come at them. Uh, right. Black Shem Sadie, I don't know why he's dissing uh, the uh, Eminem. I have no idea. I don't know why he's doing that at all. I have no idea what what that song is about. I don't know if you're looking for clout, like, and see, Eminem, M is the type, M is the type to come back. You know what I'm saying? M is the type to uh, respond back, but uh, I mean. MB responding to everything, but hopefully, like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got my kid came and asked me something that he did not need to ask me. You know, you know how children be. I need pop <laughs> in on you. I need some soap. All right, well, go get the goddamn. Like, what? What? <laughs> I don't have it. Let me check my pockets, son. I, let me check my shoes real quick. Um, but yeah. I just think, I, honestly, I'm gonna I'm call it what it is. I, I think the Black Slim Shady is just a uh, another a game moment where he did something for the moment. Let me dis, let me dis, let me dis Eminem. Why? I don't get that. I, I don't get. I hope M don't respond. I really hope he don't respond. But he, he be respond. responding to everything, G. He be responding, G. Just come out the woodworks to respond to a diss. <laughs> That's the game. Y'all check game out, man. Let's go ahead and go to Meg, man. There we go. Let's let's get some some uh some ah. <laughs> that, right. that was that was that was extra pause. <laughs> pause to all of Meg the style. Uh, I was gonna say traumatized, man. Thank you for correcting me before I even said it. Uh Trauma 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 okay. Um Hi Girl Meg. You know, Meg. Uh we first reviewed Meg at Illuminated Brew Works. Come on. I think Did we was. Really? It wasn't Tina Snow. It was the album after, and you was big fan at that time. Oh, Fever. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I have no uh, shame in this. I am a fan of Megan D. Stallion. I'm a fan of Megs, man. Um, even though uh, she, do- I, she doesn't have an album that I... Um, I would consider like a uh, classic work. I'm just a fan of like her personality and her energy yeah. and what she does. You know what I'm saying? Big Houston, um, big Houston energy, big Houston yeah. energy. Um, she don't get featured on a lot of songs. Um, Lotto, I think is featured more than as far as like women rappers. Lotto gets featured more than she does. Um, she don't be out, and I and that's really like interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? She don't really be getting featured, but um, the album is okay. She got like two or three topics. <laughs> we've we've discussed that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, I do like NDA. Um, 
I like Giffin' a Curse, Miss Nasty, Red Wine. All them freaky songs I like, actually. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We went to SIU. Them joints would have went hard in the barn. <laughs> went hard, G. <laughs> they would have went hard. Um, I like the joint with Pooh Shiesty. Um, She tried to get personal on anxiety. I like that. I That's that was a, you know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. And it's a fun song, uh, too. I like Pressure Licious with Future. Um, overall, I actually like the Southside Royalty uh, freestyle <sighs> with uh, Sauce Walker and some Houston hitters. Some Houston Low key keys on that joint. Uh, key key. Like I like that joint, G, and I like Sauce Walker's like just talking at the end. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot that Megan was into anime. You know what I'm saying? Like she don't really be talking about that lately, but she be into that joint. But um, uh, I I the thing about the joint is that it's kind of one note. You know what I'm saying? She got a couple of uh, you know, besides like the freaky joints. You know what I'm saying? That's what she probably does the best. And talking greasy, like extra gangster gruff with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really have a whole lot else to okay. say. I I'll mean, pick up. I mean, yeah, Meg, Meg, Megan Thee Stallion, man. Um, I think Meg is, because of the whole Tory Lane situation and what happened and whatnot, I think she gets a lot. You know, she gets a lot of uh, flack. Mm -hmm. We're in this era where black men and black women just, you know, like to argue about dumb shit, right? Like, we tell you, like... It'll be a Meg and Tory situation, and then you'll see females over here and males over here. Like, mm. that's some real weird, weird, weird shit that I observe as a married man because I don't really care. Like, I'd be like, "What? Like, what the fuck y'all doing?" <laughs> um. So yeah, she she be getting a lot of you know flack, justly or unjustly. I don't know because I don't even I don't even know about that situation. I don't really know yeah. much about it. Yeah, because I'd be I, out the way. Like yeah. I, I I don't know, but. This is the wrong podcast for that. This ain't yeah, the podcast. This ain't the pod. These dudes that be in the backyard with their kids uh watching right. them. Hey, get off that tree. Like that's what we be doing. <laughs> right. Um we talk so, music. Yeah, man. So I mean, Meg, I think she's a dope rapper though. I think she she's is. definitely carrying the crown for female rap right now. She can, and she can rap. She can she rap. Can, and what I mean is that the, unfortunately women don't um there's never three or four, like, like how men have it, where you have a Kendrick Cole and this. Like, there's women. There's like one or two or something. I, I don't. We've talked about that too before, like how there there's never a, a lot of female rappers just at the. But I think she she's at the top right now as far as female rap is concerned. Yeah. Um, but I like ungrateful. I like not nice. I like, I like different nice. curse. Not nice is very unapologetic. Like, okay, this is who y'all say I am. Fuck it, then I'm not nice. Like, okay, I like that vibe. Um, anxiety, she's rapping and it's a fun song too. I like flip flop, man. Um, I like Plan B though. Mm -hmm. I like Plan. I think that's a big flip. I don't know. Oh yes, is. yes it is. Yes, giving me them Kim vibes. G, she giving me that what Foxy and them would have did. You know what? I think that's actually um I forgot who it is. It, it I forgot. I want to say and I could be wrong, uh hit me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe that is the Jodeci remix featuring okay. Ghost and Ray, I believe. Got you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't um, remember the name of the song, but I believe that is a Jodeci remix, I believe. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, I it, the joint the the album has some joints, man. I just want no, I can't say that because preference, preference is preference, man. And the way I'm gonna talk about Black Thoughts album because of the content and the stuff that hits me, you know, there's a 23 year old woman out there that connects with this in some way. So I can't say I want to hear more from Meg. I do, but it's. Yeah. Not me. It's not for me. It's not made for a dude that just turned 39. You know what I'm saying? With three yeah. kids. It's not. So 
I can't say I want more from her because eventually she'll maybe get to a point where she does more. But Meg yeah. is how old? I don't know. Right. So right. she makes music for who she makes music for. So yeah. Um moving on. Moving. Hey, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. <laughs> let me tell y'all something real quick. This 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 may be all cap, but it's really not. Somebody said something to me, man, the other day when I was talking about this Black Thought album. This was Saturday. Yeah, this was Saturday. Come on, I'll ask you a question. Uh, we doing Black Thought and Danger Mouse now, cheat codes. Yes. We've heard rappers be good as they got older. Jay and Nas are both good. Mm -hmm. Have we ever heard people consistently almost like get better, feel like they're getting better as they... Can you Do you know rappers who have seemed to get even better as they've aged? Because rap has always been, it's a young man's game, which it is in many ways, but I feel like Black Thought is mm. getting well, see, better that's the thing like rappers be good though you know what i'm saying like certain artists definitely have gotten worse i've seen i feel like i've seen jay get not that good and then get better again like okay. it's like yeah i feel like i've seen that with Nas too you know what i'm saying it was like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but please go on with Black Thought. I mean, I can't yeah. think of... Right now, I have to think about it. I can't think of an artist right now that's consistently... I had to think about it, but go ahead. Yeah, man. I, and the reason why I'm asking this is because I think... And I think what it is is that with Black Thought, the kind of MC he, he, he is... Um, you can tell he's into okay so I'll, I'll do it this way there are some rappers who talk about this they talk about that and then there are some rappers where their content is just expansive like they pull him from everywhere you know they pull him black thought on this album there's political commentary here and there there is how he feels about this there's he's talking about he got his reach Mm -hmm. from a lyrical content standpoint is so far and i don't know how old black thought is but i think the roots dropped their first album in like the early 90s if i'm not correct you are correct You're so correct. i'm gonna say this and i'm and I'm, I'm gonna give a couple songs and i'm gonna get out the way because i don't want to have like this whole mc man crush ass show because that's what it's like thought black thought today right now is 50 years old This man is rapping circles around other rappers, right. G. I am. This man is on another level. This man is 50 years old. Come on. He's been doing it longer than Nas and Jay, G. Come on. The man Look. was born in 1971. The man is 50. 50. Come on. Look. Uh, look here. I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. All right. Um, I've always said Jay Z is the greatest of all time, which I think is an all encompassing argument from the standpoint of sure. lyricism, longevity, yeah. good albums, business entrepreneurs, all that. However, if I am talking about from the standpoint of talent and lyrical ability and all mm -hmm. that. I don't think anybody can rap better than Black Dog. I don't think so. Now, obviously, it's a big statement. That's a big statement. Obviously, you're going to have your race arguments, you're going to have your Lupe arguments and all that. But where Lupe is heady, Black Dog will say things that is heady but you get it. Like that's not a myth. Black blackness is not a monolith. Mm. A lot of niggas got, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like to understand why we wallow and what the bottom is. You know what I'm saying? And common sense ain't what they teaching in colleges. Like it'd be like just a statement like blackness is not a monolith in a time where everybody thinks that their version of blackness is the right version, which is a problem, right? 
to say blackness is not a monolith means that it's not one way to be black, right? We aren't, we have a collective, but we are many people, shades, race, religion, whatever. It's not just ideas one. Ideas and viewpoints and all of that. Yeah. For this sure. man be on a different wave. Again, I don't want to make this a love session, but I really like this album. It's probably going to be there for me. I really feel like, I mean, be there at the end of the year at the top mm -hmm. for me. It's giving me Jericho Jackson Jackson vibes from the standpoint Ooh. of a album that's going to fly under the radar because it's so musically obscure and nobody knows who Danger Mouse really is. And Danger what, Mouse popping now. Danger yes. Danger Mouse is popping. I mean, at a level where yeah, yeah. you got the Kendrick and the big the uh, Mr. Morale is up here and nobody's going to really talk True. about this one because it's so... Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say avant-garde in many ways, but it is... It's a taste, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I like majority of the songs on here. He doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. Raekwon, uh, uh, what, what'd he say? What'd he come in saying? Uh, boy grown, got hands like Roy. <laughs> classic, classic Ray. Classic Raekwon. Go ahead, Classic Ray. Go ahead. Um, look, man, right now, uh, for me, man, one of my favorite, I'm going to just talk about some of the songs that I like a lot right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like uh, The Darkest Part with Ray. Um, I like Sometimes. I like How I Come On. I like Chico's too. I do. <laughs> um, but let me talk about some that I think are really strong, G. I think Aquamarine is hard. I think Identical Deaths. Identical, identical Deaths is hard. This man got off on Close to Famous. This man really got off on Close to Famous. Um, those three are my top three. Like, he's rapping on all of the songs. But those three in particular are my top three. Like, probably, like, it had to be my second time around. Uh... Close to famous, I'm like, this man is, man, this man don't get his just due. And Not he at all. That. And, and he knows that. He knows that. He knows that. He's aware of where he is in the, in the rapid sphere. You know what I'm saying? He's aware. Um, Man, he got a song like Violas and Lupitas. You know what I'm saying? That's already like, look, man. Okay, so look. OT said all of that, man. We know that Black Thought is a great rapper. He's a good, he's a very good rapper. My only uh, criticism on the album and about Black Thought in general, mm -hmm. I think he's a really good artist. I do. I think he's a good rapper. He can. Yeah. He's he's one of the best MCs. Just straight MCing. Just straight get on a mic and MCing. I'll never forget. I read an article that said like this man got like fish gills or something because his breath control is insane. insane. You know what I'm saying? Like his breath control to be able to articulate these words. Like he's good with it. He's good. He's like a ninja. The joints are slicing. He's good. It's all the same cadence. Yes. That's my only thing about Black Thought. It be mm. the same. Yeah. Similar to what I said about Ransom. You know what I'm saying? Like, Black Thought is good. It's just always the same. It's that's always why, the same. That's Whereas why. You listen to, like, a game who be switching it up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not like that big a fan of game as I am of Black Thought, who's who's a good rapper. Like he just straight, he's he's a MC. He's MCing, but go ahead though. Jay. That's why I said it gives me Jericho Jackson vibes because Elzai does not we love exactly. Jericho Jackson, but Elzai, exactly. first I forget the producer he worked on the album with, but you have an obscure producer and a elite MC crisis. 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 Yeah, 
and Elza is just phenomenal with the raps, but Elza gives you Elza, right? It's just pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, it's that's that's really, you know, my last point. Like, he's right now. It's like, man, this is this is and Danger Mouse. I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, gray album. Talk about that gray album. They don't know, G. Bruh, that's that's college right there. You know what I'm saying? When he, uh, you know, Danger Mouse came onto the scene. All right, uh, remixing Jay, uh, the black album with the Beatles white album and called it the great album. This is, you know, if you know anything about music, anything about sampling, the Beatles do not release, let their music go for sampling. They do not. They don't. Not, you ain't heard. And if you heard something from the Beatles, then they either pay crazy amounts of money or it's uh it's 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 illegal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's on some mixtape. But um he did that joint and he came into the scene, and that's really how he got how he got famous, you know what I'm saying? Um he had like a whole ploy where he like pressed up some CDs and put them in stores. And like people would try to buy it, but it didn't really have like I forget the whole story, but the barcode wasn't real, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't real. Like people couldn't really actually buy it from a store. Um, but that got him noticed, they got him attention. Uh fast forward, he was able to do Gnarls Barkley, at least two Gnarls Barkley albums with uh CeeLo Green. Um he got the Danger Doom joint with MF Doom. Um, he's shout done a out, couple of... Shout out MF Doom, who has a great verse on the album. Yes, yeah. he's on Belize. Yes, that's like an old, a old Doom verse Danger yeah. probably had in the stash um, on a hard drive somewhere. But uh, but yeah, man, uh, you know, Danger does his thing. It's well produced. It's, it's produced for Black Thought. Like, Man. these sound like, you know, them sample-type beats that that uh, that uh that he would rap on. Like, it sounds good. It sounds good. Um, My only criticism is that it would, it, you know, it's, it's, it's all kind of sound Man. the same. I'm not mad at that. It is, yeah. Um... Uh, and 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 as I'm listening to it, I've listened to this one more than any of the other albums that we oh, yeah. reviewed today. Um, I want to like, make man, this uh, this is gonna have to be on my list. But right now, I would put this at number five. Look, I'm gonna have to see what else. Like, I this this it can't not be because it's it's even though I feel how I feel about it, man. I'm listening to this joint. I know, like every line that you just said, I don't know exactly maybe what song it came from, but I know, you know. those lines. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, dang, G. All right, I, I can't deny that I'm listening to this album. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I would put it at five. Here's the thing, <laughs> and what was what's, what's crazy? Here's what's crazy is that this album for me. Uh, I was talking to AJ uh, earlier. And I was talking about how we don't sit with stuff anymore. And my first mm. listen, I was like, okay, cool. And then I listened again. I'm like, okay. By my third listen, it 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 it, it continued right. to pick up steam. It worked because that the more the more I listened, the more yeah. I was able to catch not only the lyrics, but even the different things that Danger Mouse was doing on, on the production and whatnot. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, man, you know, that's it for me. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Beers and bars, we'll see y'all next time. I don't know what uh, what's happening next. I think we are going to try to connect with Funky Town um, on the yeah. beer that they, that they just dropped for uh, with the Black Horizon. But yeah, outside of that, I don't stop here. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to get it in, man. Hey. 
Turn up, man. Happy a- birthday, OT. Birthday week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 it's a lot of August birthday. A lot of Leo action going on, man. Yeah, man. All day. Um, yeah, man. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, winter winter loving from the parents. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, can I get one? I I want to give a shout. One more shout okay. out. I hope we don't look at the show. Shout out, come on, kiddo, man. Because I've really been checking for the reviews, man. I've really been checking, man. No, no bullshit. I, I I did like the. I'm gray trying to man. get better. I'm trying to get better. You the know, the gray man was a fight. Y'all check out the gray man. Um, that True. was a very good movie. Um, yeah, man. Make sure y'all tap in. They, the, the joints be posting on on the Luella Cole Instagram. Make Luella sure Cole Chicago. Yeah, man. I'm about to. Uh, I gotta watch. Um, Day shift, man, with uh, Jamie Fox and uh, and uh, Snoop. I'm gonna check that joint out, man. I'm gonna see what you have Hulu. Yes, and I actually just watched Mo Money on Hulu. I'm going to be reviewing that probably in a couple days or something. I'm know. interested to know what you feel about the Prey movie, uh, the newest installment of Predator. Please watch that. I don't know if you're what? a Predator guy. You don't? I'm okay. asleep right now. Hey, they take it back to like the 1600s, 1700s with a Comanche tribe, which is a warrior tribe. And the predators, you know, predator. They what they do is they they want to find the greatest warriors, right? That's what that's how they hunt and whatnot, right? So, yeah, it's set in the 1700s with a Comanche tribe that's being, you know, preyed upon by the predator. It's it's a, I think it's one of the better predators since maybe the Danny Glover one or the Sanaa Lathan one. It's been a minute because I don't be sometimes them joints be corny, but I am a fan of the Predator movies. Yeah. But check that prey joint out on Hulu. It's Word, word, word up. I got you. I got you. Word. But yeah, man. Beers and bars, y'all. Beers and bars. Peace. Peace.